Welcome to Costa Bit. Good morning, everyone. Today we are here at the northern part of Koh Samit. It's called Noina Bay. Absolutely no tourists around this area. And although they have some restaurants, however, they're actually closed. So we don't know exactly where should we go and eat. And as usual, we woke up really late today. It's Monday and it's just such a fantastic day to spend my Monday on this Noina Bay. I'm gonna show it to you. So, it's a little very quiet in the northern part. Gahapon niya dumis sa south, niya dumis sa east, and then today na napudli dere sa north. Grabe, it's very convenient to move around, especially when you have someone who can drive a motorbike. Dali na jud ulay problema. Wala jay tao. But now. I don't know exactly who. Asa man may mga una ni? Wala good open ang mga restaurants. Let me see. They have some cafe but not sure exactly they have it. Offer. See? Wala jud, wala jud, wala jud tao. Tanawa ko ninyo niyo. center of Koh Samet. We went to Noina Beach, however, most of the shops there were closed. Mm -hmm. That's why we have decided to just go back to the city center and get our breakfast and lunch. Brunch. What they have is garlic fried pork, but I'm not eating pork, so I just really tweak it to be like chicken, and I want it to really, really crispy. What are you having? I'm having braised pork. Braised pork. <laughs> and macchiato. Let's eat. Yeah. All favorite. This one is called Kai Katam. In Thai, if you'll say garlic, it's called Krapiam. Krapiam. So it's called Krapiam, but usually Thai they'll say Katiam. Usually a Thai food is more of a description, let's say. If you want to have vegetables with rice, most of us are called chop suey. The thing more siya na patpakruam, so it's like stir-fried mixed vegetables on rice. So patpakruam like cow. Ah, na ang shot ba yeah? Tapos ako ni, naman siya rice di ba? So naman siya egg, naman siya fried chicken and garlic. So they say. 
ค่อยขัดเคืองลัดข้าวไข่ดาวไข่ขัดเคืองไข่ขัดเคืองไข่ดาวลัดข้าวYou guys know we went to the Noina beach earlier that was in the north, but we didn't really like the ambience. It was very quiet. However, we also have to look for a place where we can have some food. So we decided to just go back to the city center and had our brunch. And now, as you can see, we're back to the Pearl Beach. Today is Monday and absolutely no tourists, even local ties. I haven't seen anyone here. So, we enjoy na lang nato ng a moment because kano sa pagkali mahita mo nga walay mga kuskus balinis. So we're just walking at the beach, enjoying the sand, and we have all day to stay here, relax, and enjoy the sun. It is so fantastic. After a few hours in Prao Bay, we thought of checking out other beaches as well, such as Outshore and Wonglian Beach in the southern part of the island. Although the Wonglian Beach has a lot of cafes and restaurants that are open at that time, I would say that it's my least favorite because, comparing it with the others, when we were there, this area was not so clean. When you go to places, be responsible with your own trashes and make sure not to leave any traces. This applies to everyone, everywhere. We spent the rest of the afternoon back to Saikeo Beach near the hotel and it's also the last time to go for a quick dip.
may yung gabi eh. Mga kahigalaan. So, at the moment, we are going out to look for dinner. I don't know if you can hear it, but listen to it really carefully. Gabi na yun. It's past 6.30. We just had our Thai massage. As you can see, there's no other customers. And it's her first time to have some traditional Thai massage. Can you tell me more about it? So relaxing. Dinner time here in Parat. <laughs> As usual, I'm having myself some patpakruam. Lakao. And yours? Having fun. <laughs> <laughs> She's having pamuk. Pamuk. Let's eat. I'm also waiting for my pat mama. We already have the pat mama. Pat mama poo. In the Philippines, it's a pancit canton. But they usually put some vegetables, a lot of vegetables, some chili. You can also put it like chicken, pork, but I usually love it with shrimp. It's really good. That is patama. And here is our tom yum. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh my god. We ordered three extra rice, but then the lady gave us this <laughs> rice is life. She said term high and that means Gipun Andonia. What a great way to end August. Look at the far show. <laughs> we were able to enjoy this fire dance for three consecutive nights. We got so lucky and now it's happening again. Oh my god. it everyone thank you so much for watching this video the kang salamat sa pag-uban mo diri sa Koh Samet Thailand kung makabisita ka ni mo Thailand kon kon if ra ka ni mo chance na makaadto sa ilang isla just like Koh Samet i highly recommend you visiting that island because diri sa Koh Samet we were able to go to a lot of places for example northern part southern part eastern part it's amazing na sortihan ng kukunga na ako yung kauban na kahibaw mo drive motor because actually, Kosamit was once known to, to have the most notorious road pero the way I see it, morang ilan ang na-develop because sa tanan nga mga istina, istinita nga among magian actually, nana sila ikipotan ng mga humps so that is actually one way to control the traffic and one way to control the drivers para dili sila magpakusog maayo. It's really nice and I am so happy to be able to visit here at this time. But looking at the bigger picture, it's actually sad because dahil kayo may nakita nga mga restaurants nga wala dito tao, mga resorts nga wala dito tao. So we had to make sure nga para kao na mo want to make lain-lain nga mga restaurants. Just one way of helping the locals as well because I can definitely see it from their eyes nga murag they're actually really excited to see us as their customers. I am so happy nga nakabisita ko diri during this time. But then I am also looking forward nga mahuman ng paning pandemic because they definitely need you to visit this beautiful island. So I hope nga nalingaw mo sa tong laglaag. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Kokun ka! Sorry ka from Thailand!